I tell you what, that's a pretty decent backdrop for the video. I'm now in Ghana, settled. We interviewed Fabrizio Romano yesterday. Not a bad start to the videos out from Ghana. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed that. If you did, hopefully we're gonna have another one soon. But this video is all about Sergio Regulon. And the transfer that is developing extremely fast. Regulon to Man United looks very much like it's gonna be the second deal following the signing of Donny van der Beek from Ajax. And this video, I'm gonna cover all of the updates for you. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Make sure you drop a like on the video. But let's talk about the Regulon updates. Now, where else can we begin but with the exclusive interview we had with Fabrizio Romano? Here is what he told us exclusively yesterday. Oh, well, I'm told that Manchester United is, are monitoring by day the situation of Sergio Reguillon. The player would love to join also because he understood that Sevilla are not going more, more for him. Since Fabrizio said that, Acuna to Sevilla has been confirmed. That means the Regulon is not going back to Sevilla on loan. That rules them out and gives United a big advantage. So in this moment, there is no agreement uh, between, we have to say, between Manchester United and Real Madrid for Reguillon. But the two clubs are speaking. Also, the agents of the player are speaking with Manchester United. They offered Sergio Reguillon some days ago, as I told them, to, to, to Manchester United. And the situation is that Real Madrid wants a buyback close for, for Reguillon. They want 30 million euro. And in this moment, what Manchester United said is they won't pay 30 million euro for Reguillon. I think the opening big bid will be lower, like around 20 million euro. But we have to see what they will do on next days. So at the moment, there is no official bid, but they are preparing a first approach with Real Madrid. So Fabrizio there telling us that the first bid was expected to be around 20, 25 million euros with no buyback clause. And there's been plenty of developments in Spain since. Got reports there saying Regulon is close to joining United. Real Madrid will keep the right of first refusal or a buyback clause. Regulon has already decided to join United and that United and Madrid are negotiating. And that buyback clause is a problem, but the two clubs will come to an agreement. So huge developments out in Spain there, all pointing towards one thing, that Regulon will join Man United this summer. That while the buyback clause might be an issue at the moment, United and Madrid will work to agree to find that resolution. And it's something that I feel quite strongly with this. Look, Jaden Sancho in that situation is messy. Now, I question whether at this point, a deal will be made. I didn't think that would be the case, but I've sort of been proven wrong. But with Regulon, it feels quite straightforward. Whether it's a buyback clause or a first refusal, which I would prefer, and I'll get into that in a second, it feels like a middle ground and a compromise will be found. Not sure about the valuation, though. That'll be an interesting one. But this is what Fabrizio had to say about the personal terms. Personal terms have not agreed yet, but won't be an issue because the player wants to play in the Premier League. He would love to join Manchester United, so Reguillon would not be a problem for, for Manchester United. That's contract part and also his agents. So Reguillon wants to join United. Personal terms will not be a problem. That's a big bonus because it makes it easier for United in the negotiations. Now, I think United could easily put in a first refusal type clause inside the contract. What that means, it's very simple, really. Look at Memphis Depay. He's about to join Barcelona for around about 30 million euros, which seems relatively cheap. And a lot of United fans are saying, why didn't we exercise our first refusal? That first refusal means that if we wanted to, we could match Barca's 30 million bid and give Memphis a choice to make. You'd probably, you'd probably still choose Barcelona, but United would have the ability to match that offer with a first refusal. That's what that would exist for. And that means that if United do sign Regulon and Barcelona come in and want to sign him for 40 million in two years time, Madrid would have the ability to match that with a first refusal. So it's not as if it's a buyback clause where they can get Regulon however much they want, whenever they want. It's if United choose to sell him, they would have the ability to buy him for that price. And that is fine by me. But from all the developments that we've had from the interview with Fabrizio Romano and what's happened since in Spain, for me, it really feels like this deal for Regulon is nearly done. It feels like the price will be quite relatively straightforward to agree on. Real Madrid want 30 million. We want to pay around 20 million. We'll go halfway in between. 25, 26, 27 million, somewhere around that mark. And I think we'll include that first refusal in there. Not a buyback clause, but a first refusal. And I think those two combined will mean that Real Madrid and United can agree quite 
straightforward terms really for Regulon, who wants to join United. And that would be a big bonus for United because it would mean our fullback options next season would be upgraded massively. We'd upgrade our left back. Probably Regulon goes in the starting 11 or at least definitely competes with Shaw. And I would probably say Regulon is the better out of the two fullbacks. Let me know what you think about that. Although Shaw will certainly disagree with that. And what that means at left back probably means that Brandon Williams will be moved more into a right back position. Because I don't know whether Timothy fosu Mentz has really got a long-term future at the club. He came in last year when we needed options. And I don't know whether Diogo Delot does because Solskjaer chose fosu Mensa ahead of him. When he really technically shouldn't have, on paper anyway. So I think those two as right-back options. Your wan Bissaka with Brandon Williams. And those two as the left-back options. Regulon and Shaw will give United the best full-back options that we have had for some time. And full-backs are so crucial in the shape of modern football and they are crucial for the width at United and the overlapping runs and letting Rashford have the space on the left and on the right, whoever's playing on the right-hand side. It's crucial that our fullbacks do the job that modern day fullbacks should. And with Regulon, I think our options massively improve, both at left back and at right back because it pushes Williams to right back. And it's exciting because Regulon wants to play for United. It's, Van der Beek wanted to play for United and wanted to play for Solskjaer, just like the other signings we've made. Now look, the Gareth Bale rumours I'll cover in another video over on Facebook and on Twitter, so make sure you check that out. But it's a very different type of signing to these sorts of signings like Regulon, who actually wants to physically play for the club because the Premier League will be a big step for him. And if he's confident in his own ability to improve, he'll become a world-class left-back at Manchester United. And it would make such a difference because... I personally think the fullback is the most important position in modern football. They change the shape of your attack. They're so cru obviously they're crucial in defending, but they're so important for the shape of the team going forward that without them, you become a little bit too predictable. And I think you could say that about United for quite a long time, really. Certainly better last year, but we can get even better with a signing like Regulon, who will be smart, a cheap signing, less than 30 million for somebody who's won the Europa League. 23, I think he's 23. Anyway, young, up and coming, can improve at United. Tick, tick, tick. There's, there's plenty of reasons why it really is a proper Solskjaer type signing. And it really feels like the deal is nearly done. From what Fabrizio told us, covered all those snip tip bits in this video. Make sure you drop a like on the Fabrizio interview if you haven't watched it already. It's a good one, it really is. And we'll be speaking to him hopefully after the transfer window closes. Bit of an exclusive there. If you stayed long enough to watch that now, you'll know. And Regulon, following Van der Beek, we still need more. We still need a right winger, whether that be Jaden Sancho, Gareth Bale, or somebody else entirely. And in an ideal world, we'll shift a couple of centre-backs on and we'll get a new centre-back in. But Regulon, to United, after Van der Beek, it really feels like that's going to be the next deal. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. For me, I'm excited. I think he can grow at United and that is a major thing. And he could become a world-class left-back that does eventually go to Real Madrid. But for 80 million euros, you can pay us what we want, lads. Let me know what you think about the Regulon rumours in the comments below. For me, I think it'd be a very good deal, a very cheap deal and a very smart deal. And the same could be said for Van der Beek. Let's just hope more follow this summer. But make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And if you like the new backdrop, look at that. Got palm trees. Got even got a swim pool down there. Very nice. See you soon.